All right, so here's a hoop we've purchased. Overall, very good system. A couple of good things I want to point out is the base of this and how it's adjustable. There's no silly contraption on the back. So if you were limited for space uh, and you're pretty handy, you could actually not use the base at all. Bore a hole in the concrete, uh, if you're on concrete that is. Um, weld up a metal sleeve and then just slide this straight over the metal sleeve that goes into the concrete and you could put it right up against a brick wall. You could, you know, the options here are pretty endless because there's not really much You've got a lot of space behind that hoop. You've got a lot of space. Now, the only downside to this base, these small plugs, you're meant to fill with sand, uh, the base with sand. Uh, extremely good option to fill with sand. Um, just on the weight factor alone, you don't have to worry about the wind. Um, the only option is that's a tedious, hour, hourless job unless you want to pay a premium price for playground sand which is already dry I myself went for a wash sand which comes wet um, very hard to get in what I did uh, was actually bored a hole in the back of the system here which you know from for my local budding store uh, you're able to purchase some two-part epoxy for plastic um, just a 50 mil coupling there in a 50 mil one board hole with a cap and I was able to fill the sand through there twice as probably three times quicker than I could have any other way um, but yeah uh, all of, of everything I cannot say that this hoop's bad at all I've had a fair few in my, my time I will just point out just here uh, you will get some black washes some spaces um, like those ones just up near that uh, metal rod personally they're pretty crap um, I purchased some nylon washers to replace those after one one broke while tightening I might have over tightened but it didn't really have a lot of uh, rubber like you know not a lot of uh, give in it Whereas that, that nylon washer up there definitely had, definitely will do the trick over time as well with the weather. So, but yeah, beside for a, for a nice backboard, you know, good, good hoop, you know, pretty well designed, pretty good to, you know, if you're handy, you could put it and use it in a different way without that base. But yeah, if you're going to get this and you don't want to, and you're on a cheap budget, and you're gonna fill it with sand. You're gonna to wanna to buy wash sand. And I personally believe it was about $20 for me to purchase the glue and the those plumbing parts to uh, fit that. And that's, that saved me, that $20 saved me countless hours, I believe. So, you know, um, that's definitely the way to go. So yeah, that's my review on the, uh, on the hoop. Thank you.